Hello, everyone. My name is Chef Troy, and today I will be cooking my recipe for shrimp and broccoli stir fry, with a nice beverage or cocktail on the side. So, the first thing you must do is peel and devein the shrimp to give them a nice clean taste. Once that's done, you should wash the shrimp thoroughly, and then combine the shrimp in a medium-sized bowl with corn flour. And toss the bowl until the shrimp is coated. After that, you should wash and then cut the broccoli into bite-sized pieces and some red onions into thin slices. There are optional ingredients you could add to this recipe, like bacon or sausage, which could add to the flavor, but they are not the healthiest options. If you are a vegetarian, you can also consider adding some mushrooms as well. Next, you should heat a skillet with a medium flame and add canola oil to the skillet. Until it is coated with the oil. After that, you can add chopped ginger and garlic, and let that cook for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, add the shrimp to the skillet and cook for approximately three minutes or until the shrimp looks finished. After the shrimp is cooked, you should remove it from the skillet and then add more canola oil to the skillet and cook the broccoli and onions. While that is cooking, you can make the sauce. To make the sauce, you should combine chicken broth. Two tablespoons of rice vinegar, one fourth cup of soy sauce, corn flour, dark sesame oil, and crushed red pepper. Make sure you do not add too much rice vinegar to your sauce, otherwise it will come out too sour. You should whisk the sauce in a small bowl, add it and, sh and the shrimp into the pan, and let it all cook together with the broccoli and onions. Another nice addition to this meal would be pickled cucumbers with chili pepper. This would add another level of flavor and texture to your dish. While your stir fry is cooking, you can make a cocktail to accompany your dish. If you do not drink alcohol, then a nice glass of lemonade would be a suitable accompaniment. But if you want extra kick with your meal, you can make a mimosa by adding equal parts champagne and orange juice into a champagne flute. And if you still have room for dessert, mint chocolate chip ice cream is my favorite.